Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm actually thinking about changing the name from Keith Drones and Tech to the Ace Effect. It's a, a nickname I had when I was a kid and I thought Effect was cool. I have an effect on things. So anyways, um, what I'm planning on doing today is, and why I'm wearing my, my cycling kit, is I'm going to take my, um, my GoPro out for a ride. And instead of buying the $50 GoPro adapter, the microphone adapter, I'm going to take this microphone right here, this boy microphone, hook it into my cell phone and try to sync the tracks up after I'm done and see if that's a better option than getting the adapter for the GoPro and then hooking the mic into the GoPro. I know it would be easier if I did that, but 50 bucks for a microphone adapter is kind of steep. But we might have to go there if this doesn't work or if syncing the audio is a pain in the butt. So stay tuned. I'll let you know how it goes. If you're seeing this video, it worked. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks. All right. So today I'm trying out the Boya lavalier mic connected to my Android cell phone. It attempts to record audio for the GoPro while riding instead of using the um, GoPro uh, mic adapter to see if this works any better, if it's a better option. Because I might have to sync up my phone and if it's going to work very well or not because you know, riding a bike, it's extremely windy, so I can see the wind right now coming right at me. Probably 15 miles an hour. Um, and uh, see how this little lab mic works. And I have the um, GoPro camera set on uh, auto for, wi for um, the wind. Although it doesn't really matter because this is my lab mic. Alright, so let's do a little quick uh, 10 mile ride here, see that? to go back down let's see how the uh, the mic does with that little foam sock over it see if it uh, works out okay or not I don't uh, I don't foresee greatness here but uh, it's probably better than anything coming out of the GoPro right now which is in its you know uh, protective case mounted on the treadmill Hopefully this mic is working alright and you guys can hear me. Let's 
gonna start uh, getting a little, a little hairy right up here. A little bumpy and uh, it's probably gonna be ice on the on the road because it gets it's uh, it's so shady that the sun hasn't really hitting hitting it's not even a word. The sun doesn't really hit it correctly and the temperature hasn't really been above anything significant for a few months. So. So as you can see by that footage, that was a complete failure of this Boya microphone um, to do any kind of uh, an audio uh, function with the app that I had on my phone <clears throat> while riding my, uh, my road bike yesterday. Um, so I think that we can probably get it done. I, I don't know if the answer is connecting the audio to directly to the GoPro to get it done um, with this mic. I don't think it's the mic's fault. Um, I think it might be the fact that it's just, you know, I just had this little fuzzy, I'm sorry for tapping on the mic, just had this little foam um, cover on the mic itself. It didn't really have any kind of uh, wind protection like a dead cat would give it. Um, so I don't know if I could probably have better success with a dead cat attached, but I was trying to be minimalist as possible. I just had it sticking out of the top of my jersey. I didn't want it um, really visible. Um, maybe if I put it inside my jersey, it would have less wind. But you could you could hear it rubbing against my jersey every time I shifted in my on the bike. But when I switched to the GoPro mic, that was it was like a thousand percent better than I thought it was going to be, and a complete shock um, to me that. The mic on the GoPro in its housing on the front of my uh, handlebars riding through that wind was that much better than this lav mic attached to myself. Um, anyways, maybe I'll invest in the 50 bucks and get the, uh, the GoPro audio adapter and try it that way. Or um, I'm going to put the, uh, the GoPro on my chest mount. Uh, it's raining out today, so I'm not going to ride today. But I'm going to put the GoPro on my chest mount. And try it again that way and see if the audio is even better because the distance from my mouth to the GoPro will be closer. And uh, we'll see how that works. But I'm trying to figure out the best option for audio with a GoPro, the GoPro Hero 7 Black, sorry, while riding a bike or doing any kind of activity that involves um, moving rather quickly um, and trying to capture the best audio possible off the GoPro. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try it again um, as soon as the rain stops, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, if you like my content, please subscribe, click the uh, bell icon, and give me a big thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Talk to you on the next one.